Solid men do not crowd and beg women. They let them come to them. They give them space to come to them, right? And the thing about it is, this is something that you guys will kind of start developing on your own with maturity, right? With maturity and with your life coming together, with your hobbies coming together, with just your mind coming together. This is the main thing. When your mind comes together, all of this stuff is gonna click. You understand what I'm saying? This stuff that I'm talking about is gonna click because a solid man, first of all, has things to do, right? Has things that he needs to accomplish. He's got things that he needs to handle. And by that, it's kind of natural that he's not gonna crowd a young lady, right? Like, I have my, my girl, I love her to death, my old lady. And even with her, sometimes I'm like, look, you know, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And that naturally creates that healthy space, right? So with that being said, this is Tarek Talks. I'm gonna talk about some solid shit. You know what I'm saying? So buckle up and ride with me, <laughs> all right? Y'all, the thing with it is, is that it's only natural for men to give women space. Women don't want you to be all up on them. And as a man, you should not want to do that yourself. Because what a lot of guys do, especially the younger ones, well, shit, I'm hoping the younger ones, right? I'm hoping it's only young ones, is that they want to do this whole checking up on her, right? You hear this a lot. Oh, I'm just checking up on you. What are you checking up on? Okay, you need to, you need to be checking up on what your next move in life is. You need to, be, need to be checking up on the your gym schedule, right? And am I saying before some mad chick gets on here, because I, I be having a lot of those. I be having a lot of chicks that feel like what I'm saying is offensive and stuff like that. Which, hey, look. It's, it's gonna happen, right? People are gonna misinterpret what I'm saying. People are gonna misinterpret the message. And this message, I'm not saying to completely act like a douchebag and just ignore the chick, ignore the young lady that you're talking to. This is not what this video is saying. What it is saying is that texting her and calling her every single day especially if you're the one initiating it, right? When the guy is initiating it every single day, yes, that's a problem, okay? That's a problem because for one, it's like, damn, you're not giving her the chance to come to you. You're not giving her the chance to, you, you're not giving her the chance to prove if she actually even likes you. Because guys, let me tell you something. A lot of chicks, and I don't want you guys to get pissed off about this and start getting mad, but a lot of chicks will give you their number and use you up for a pen pal, a virtual pen pal, right? For a texting buddy. And it's fucked up. I know it's messed up. I'm not saying it's right. And for chicks who do that, you know, for chicks who uh, use men just for attention, knowing damn well that he wants to, that he has more interest in them. You know, shame on you, biatch. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not taking away accountability from either side. So guys, you have to be cognizant of that. Be cognizant of chicks that just want to use you to be a fucking pen pal. But the thing about it is, you don't give a chance for the chick to reveal reveal herself, so to speak, right? You don't give these chicks a chance to reveal themselves because you're too busy texting her every damn day. It's like you're planning, you're trying to plant a plant, right? And you put the seed in and every single day you go and you dig up the seed and you check to see if the plant has grown. It's never going to grow because you keep messing with it. You keep effing with it. It's the same concept with this. You keep initiating, you keep trying to initiate meeting up with her, you keep trying to initiate
contact. You keep trying to initiate seeing her and getting up with her and chilling all that every single time, every single day. It's like you're not giving a chance for the plant to grow. And in this case, what I mean by the plant to grow is seeing if she's actually going to reach out to you, actually seeing if she's interested in you, actually seeing if she actually wants to get up with you. Because you want her to chill, want to chill with you just as much as you want to chill with her, right? And the thing about it is when y'all do that, you know, when, when y'all crowd the chick like that, you are showing that you have nothing going on and you're showing that you want her in a desperate type of way, right? It's like she don't think to herself, damn, does he have anything going on? Does he have anything besides checking my store, every single one of my stories, besides liking every single one of my posts, besides DMing me stupid ass memes every day, right? Y'all be DMing these chicks five memes in a row every day and stuff. Stop that, bro. That's not that's not going to grow her quote unquote attraction. OK, now, like I said. Is sharing memes and talking and stuff, that's perfectly fine It's natural. <clears throat> right. The thing about it is you need to see if she's interested in you. And the thing with solid men is, is that they have that internal respect. They have that internal respect for themselves where they naturally do not want to hit a chick up like that because they feel like they're disrespecting themselves. The main reason why a lot of guys be crowding these women, be hitting them up every single day, be desperate, is because deep down inside, they have no respect for themselves. Straight up. They don't respect themselves and they feel like they're under the chick. This is what this subconsciously is. They feel like they're under the chick and the chick is never gonna hit them up if they don't initiate it first. Because deep down inside, they're thinking, why should the chick hit me up? What is it about me that's good enough for her to hit me up? I'm the one that needs to hit her up because if I don't, then she's gonna forget all about me. That's internally what they're thinking. And solid men, think to themselves quite the opposite. It's like they think to themselves, I do value myself. I do value my time. I do respect myself enough. So that's why I would never stoop down low to try to gain someone's, to try to swindle someone into liking me and to try to swindle some attention from a chick. Right, because deep down inside, guys that, that are desperate, you know, dudes that aren't solid, they're really trying to swindle. They're really trying to um, bamboozle the chick into liking them. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. They're trying to bamboozle the chick and they're like, oh, maybe if I'm just funny enough and I'm, I make enough effort, she's going to see what great of a guy I am. And the fact of the matter is, no, she's not. Right? Fact of the matter is, no, she's not. She's going to lose respect for you. Um, you're going to make yourself look stupid. And she's going to be wondering to herself, why the hell is this guy even, what has he got going on? And the other thing that solid men do is they have shit going on for themselves. They got, like I said, they got to go to the gym, right? They have their job. They have side hustles, okay? They got side hustles. They know that as much as they love women, as much as they want to be with a chick, as much as they want to be laid up on a chick, right? They got business to handle <clears throat> and women can be time consuming, okay? Women can be time consuming because when a chick really likes you, she is going to be all up on you, dog. She's going to want a lot of your time. She's going to want a lot of your time. She's going to want to hang out with you. She's going to want to tell you about her day. She's going to be like, why aren't you calling me? See, the tables start flipping when the chick actually likes the guy, right? And this happens to solid men. When she sees that the dude is solid, she's just going to start wanting more of his time. She's going to start 
wanting him to hit her up a little more. She's gonna be like, why aren't you, why aren't you uh hitting me up? And she's gonna start like being a little bothered a little bit. But that's okay though, because at the end of the day, she's gonna appreciate that as weird as that sounds. I know a lot of chicks are gonna disagree with that, but she's gonna appreciate that at the end of the day, because when she does get with you, she's gonna feel like, dang, this dude, you know, I finally got with him. He's somebody. He ain't one of these dudes that's all up on my damn clit trying to see me every five minutes because he has nothing going on for his life. Because that's another subconscious thing the chick is going to be thinking like, I'm getting with this guy and he's going to be just all up on me in like a weird, desperate type of way. Like he's going to be on me in an unhealthy type of way. And I don't want that. So when the guy is got some shit going on for himself, she's gonna be like, okay, this guy is is going places. He's going places and he ain't gonna be crowding me all the damn time, uh, harassing the shit out of me, right? So anyway, hope this video helped. Y'all be blessed.